Hello, everyone. Welcome to Car Town Kia. I'm Gabrielle. I am here with Jessica. Guys, we have a very exciting video for you today. We have the all new EV9. This is all electric, and I have Jessica to show us the entire exterior and all the really beautiful interior features. Jess, go ahead. Thank you so much, Gabrielle, and hello, everyone. I miss doing this video so much. Um, so guys, I'm super excited to do, to do this video. We've been waiting on the EV9 for so long to come in. We've been hearing about it for maybe, you know, months and months and months, and it's finally made it. This is uh, nonetheless the top of the line GT line, black with gray interior inside. I'm gonna go over all the features in it, uh, exterior, interior, in detail, to uh, let you know exactly what you guys are getting when you get in a third row SUV with Kia. So we'll start with the range. Uh, the range on this vehicle is going to be up to 270 miles. Uh, I know it's considered like fairly low for what it is in the market for the EV, but don't forget, this is a third row full SUV. The first one to be out, out of all the, you know, there is some other ones, but they're not as big as this one. All right. Uh, other than that, zero to 60 in 4.5 seconds. Um, it's a dual motor, the GT line comes with 379 horsepower. Many people compare this one to the Telluride. They kind of like saying it's the electric Telluride out there, which is, I mean, I can see why the design looks very similar. Uh, the interior, some of the interior can look alike, but uh, I mean, this is all fully electric. So that's gonna be like the main difference. I have a Telluride myself and it's 290 horsepower. So it's almost a hundred more horsepower just so you understand how much more powerful this vehicle is. All right, so let's start with the headlights. First thing you see, it's all of these like geometric uh, look and designs that Kia uh, went with. So you have the LED, this is all LED daytime running lights, they run on all the time. And you see all of this like square inside, the headlights are, are reset inside um, and here, on the grill itself, Kia really just could have just leave it blend, but they decided to do a very special design as well. It's all flat, so they're, they're not bolting out uh, or anything. So I think that this is very special. Uh, Kia is going, continue actually going with the Tiger mouth. Like you can see it on some of their vehicles. Uh, it's not like their line, their signature. You can see it here on the edge, all right? So it's just like, bolding out i would say it like that um you have a combination of matte finish it's a dark gray matte finish with a glossy black and then if you go down here you have all of these patterns of another analytic uh, design all right uh, and i think that this is what's special on most of the ev out there they kind of like want to do the design more futury um very geometric look to uh, many of the features and the accent on the car. So let's continue here to the wheels. So the wheels are 21 inch, all right? It's one of the biggest wheels that you can see on Kia. Most of them have like 20 inch on, uh, 20 inch on, like the Kia Telluride. This one is one inch bigger. It's a very interesting choice of the wheel material. I know that most of them come with alloy wheels. This specific one, it's not alloy. I know it's look like alloy uh, wheels, but it's more like, I would say maybe like a plastic design. Um, and the whole point of it, that Kia chooses it, it's for weight, all right? Uh, we know that the, the less weight that the vehicle weighs is gonna give you more range, right? So they can just put a full alloy wheels on it. Obviously it's gonna make the weight of the vehicle be uh, way too heavier, all right? And it's gonna reduce the range that you're gonna get on it. Uh, this is what you get when you have like a third row SUV, like you want the space, but you don't wanna lose the, the range. So a very interested uh, choice of material. But again, I mean, even though it's plastic, you can tell. You can tell unless you touch it, all right? So let's look around something that look very, very interested. The first time I've seen those handle, it's on a Tesla, so I'm so glad that Kia actually went 
with that uh, option, that design, they pops out and goes back inside once you lock and unlock the car. Uh, so that's super nice. And it comes here, if you will close, get a closer look on this, it's a digital key right there. All right, so you just put your uh, print on it, your uh, finger on it, and it will lock and unlock the car. Obviously I have gloves on. Uh, it's almost 30 degrees here, so it's so fun to shoot a video. Um, <laughs> let's take a look at the back. Kia is continue with all of these geometric design. These are the taillights, as you can see, the half of it on the body and half of it on the door itself. Um, you can see the new Kia logo, which I think that, you know, at this point, everybody knows it's a Kia. Uh, by the way, did you know that this is the most uh, Google name brand out there just because ever, uh, ever since Kia started to do this new Kia logo? So that's very interesting. So many people thought at first it's going to be KN, but this is a Kia. So obviously it comes with power lift gate. Now let's dive into the interior of this vehicle. So this is what you get. You have this, so it's going to stitch on, which is super nice. I really like that Kia thought about it. They are giving you the charger here. So it's come with this charger, the adapter. And you can just either, you know, keep it in the car. Now on the Kia Telluride, they typically give you a dual level trunk space. On this one, you can't like stick it in or push it down like the Telluride, but it is still a hidden space that you can put more stuff in here, like groceries, uh, special gifts that you bought, um, really any personal shopping that you guys do. Other than that, that's how much space you get when the third row is up. Uh, I think that this is very decent for an EV uh, third row SUV, as far as the space that you're getting in it. Uh, something different from the Telluride is actually going to be the third row. So I know that on the Telluride you have three seats. Here it comes with two seats. Very wide, very spacious two seats. But again, it's two seats, so all combined together, it's six spots. All right. I'm going to show you how they look like. When they close, all you need to do is just push that leash and it goes down very easy guys you can't tell me that you ever seen such a big third row suv fully electric in the market i'm so glad that kia decided to uh, do this model they've been talking about it for so long and it finally came in um, it's absolutely insane how much space you can get in this vehicle being all fully electric you have chargers here in the back so one here, it's the type C charger, two cup holders, another small space down there, speakers here in the back, full outlet. All right. Right here, you see these two buttons? That's how you fold down these two seats. So press on one, goes all the way down. Press on the right one, go all the way down. Let's go back a little bit so you can see how much space you have in here all right i mean it's absolutely huge i mean i never seen a fully ev so big so that's super exciting so glad that kia went with this design so guys let's take a closer look on the second row all right so this is the it's considered the gray interior but you do have the GT Lime styling package on it, which give you the two tones, all right? So it's half gray, half almost white. It's a very light gray, I would say. But again, two tones, very luxury design. If you take a closer look on all the stitches here, very luxury design. We've never seen something like that on Kia before. They have very good design from the Kia Telluride that are, you know, similar, but the material is different. Obviously, it's vegan. Uh, but the material is different. Again, very clean, slim, solid uh, uh, design that they choose on the seats. This one, it's the GT line, like I said, top of the line. So it comes with all the bells and the whistles on it. If you close the door here, you can see here the heated cool seats, all right, on the second row, which is super nice, very luxury. All the door itself, I mean, just look at the speakers. 
the speakers down here are <laughs> they literally they did like a pattern of a special design it's not just you know a normal speaker that you see on every vehicle out there um it does come with the shades here in the back lights and if you see here all the air vents all right are designed too so they just used to be just you know a black uh normal really air vents and now they did like this ring on it again look very luxury they did change here how uh the all the controllers look like so that's nice they can set their own temperature here now something that they really like that kia did so you know if you go on the top of the line kia telluride it does come with a suede headliner all right I'm an OCD myself, I couldn't manage it. I mean, it's just something that I hated. I feel like if you have kids, you have, you know, fingerprints all over, it's almost like, it looked like too messy. That's why I didn't get that prestige. But what they did on this one, it's still suede, but they changed the materials. Guys, it's so solid. Like, you know, I touch it and you can't see anything. So it's very, no matter how many times you touch it, it just stays the same. It's almost like a fleece look uh so i super love that and again the whole point of doing these headliners that uh, uh designed from suede it's to give you like more uh insulated uh interior so it's very quiet you hardly hear any road noise when you drive uh again something that you really want to have on an ev um as you can see here we have the dual sunroof so you have one in the back one up front right there Obviously it's electric, but you can do it either way. One of the thing I wanna show you as well, that if you sit here in the second row, this is gonna be like your small cabinet. I mean, look at this. So you can just pull it out. And then if you just push this forward, guys, look how much space you have in here. It's super deep, all right? So super deep, just give you an extra space. You can either just leave it like that and then you have a small shelf or you can completely open it and then you have you know just kind of like a tray that you can put food stuff like that or if you just again want to put stuff inside really really love that design it's the first time kia is doing something like that um i kind of wish that i had it on my telluride but i don't <laughs> now i'm going to show you all the fun stuff that you have right there on the driver's seat so let's dive in so i'm gonna start with the door here it's the first time that kia is uh, moving the spot of the heated seat uh, to the door itself. I think that you just give it like more, like the driver said, okay, that's my area, the passenger feel the same way. Um, so you have here heated seat, ventilated seat, memory seat, and guys, look at that. Not only that you get a heated steering wheel, you have massage seat. So if I press on that button, you can see on the screen what happened. So you have pelvic, lumbar, the whole body, and it just starting to do massage non-stop until you want it to stop. Super, super nice. I tried it myself. Uh, absolutely one of the nicest things that you can have on a luxury third row SUV uh, when you're taking a long trip, road trip. Again, very, very luxury. Um, so that as far as the door, the steering wheel has a very uh, interesting shape. So they did a square look kind of here down there and another square on the top. I like that you have a spot to put, you know, both hands on, like kind of like a race car. Uh, absolutely love that. So they did switch the spot of this to all the cruise control and safety feature are going to be right here on the left. All uh, uh, the fun stuff. So, you know, Siri, uh, volume, changing radio station, music, stuff like that are going to be on the right. The driving mode are gonna be right here. So you have, let's look at the screen right here. Econ, normal, sport, my drive, and snow. This one is all wheel drive. That's why you get the snow mode. And you see how we change the mileage. So currently right now I have 84% of battery. And then if I'm gonna just put it on Eco, it's gonna be the highest uh, range that I can get. And then normal, sport, my drive so my drive i tried it myself what it does actually it's uh gonna change 
it's gonna uh, uh, maneuver between all the different driving modes according to the way that you drive. So the vehicle learn your driving habit, how you accelerate, how you brake, uh, you know, where you stop, stuff like that, and playing between all the different driving modes by itself automatically. All right. So it's kind of like give you the the advantage of um, like you don't need to change it yourself. You can just do it, put it on my drive. Um, so that's you know that's a nice feature that they have. Let's look on the screen. So the screen is very interesting. It's all one big screen together. So it's 24 inch. It's just it's flat, one big screen. Something one of the first thing that you see is uh, this small area right here that we never had on Kia vehicles before. This is all the climate control. All right. So they moved it. It's used to be down here and they moved it up there, all digital, very easy to, you know, learn how to use it. Uh, it's just, you can control the rear climate from here or the front, it's all touch. So you can just play with it. Um, here it's very similar. They did change how the software look like, but as far as like the infotainment itself, it's very similar to what we used to have. Obviously it comes with Apple CarPlay, um, you have some shortcuts right here that you can just, this kind of like, I know it's so it's, it's not buttons, all right. It's all flat, but if you press on it, it's going to kind of like vibrate. All right. So you can, you feel like you press in a button, but it's not a button. All right. Uh, so you can just press on home, uh, set up. Obviously it comes with building navigation as well, uh, which something really cool that they did you can simply just search. So if you press search, you can simply just reach to your closest charging station right here, right to next to your area. Um, and it will tell you what's the type of the charging. All right. So this is a fast charger. That's a direct charger. Uh, AC, that's the type two charger. Uh, so it's just, you know, keep on and on and on. That way you can see where is your closest uh, uh, charging station. That's another nice feature that Kia did. The volume button, it's super cool. Look at this. So it's just a small roller that you can just go up and down. Very nice design that Kia decided to do. Uh, uh, love the refreshness. Uh, here you have the fan volume, temperature on both sides. So it's a dual, uh, it's a dual temperature. The chargers are going to be down there. All right, so you have the type C chargers. So you can push that and it just open. You have this, uh, uh, the 180 volt that just, it's just another charger that you can use. And then here you just have, so what they did on the console, if you just like zoom out, you can see the console is not connected here like the Kia Telluride, okay? So you have here uh, uh, just an open space so it just gives you more storage area. And this area, you can just close and keep it like that. Very solid, very nice, or leave it open. Something that Kia changed, which I really like. You know how some of us have the big Yeti cups that doesn't fit in any car. Uh, so they did two different sizes of that. That's the normal cup that most vehicle has. This one is actually one of the huge ones that you've seen out there. So that's super nice. And they goes in and out. So you can just push them. All right. If you just need the extra space, you can just push them inside and voila. So super nice. Uh, you do have the wireless charger right here. All you need to do, lay down. Again, another uh, nice update that Kia did they extended the size of the charger. I know that some of us has bigger phones than what uh, this iPhone is. Uh, so the pad itself, it's much bigger than what it used to be. So these are the powered seat controller guys for the passenger. So you know sometimes how you can, you know, you need to like move this seat, but you don't, and you can't reach from here. So what you do, you just move it from here. It's super nice, it's go back and forth, and then you can move the back as well. Um, you have these two chargers right here in the back, all right, on both sides. Uh, it's a type uh, uh, C, that's a new type of the charger, two cup holders right here. Now let's take a closer look of this headrest, all right. 
absolutely love the design. It looks so luxury. Uh, uh, it's the first time that we've seen those type of uh, uh, headdress. It's kind of like a very high quality of mesh, but inside you have like uh, um, a cushion, all right? So it's very soft. It's not like it's just, there's a hole inside. So it's very soft. You can adjust it. It goes up and down as well. Now, uh, one of the first things that you see, you know, you enter the car and you want to start the car and you're kind of like, where is the post start, right? <laughs> so uh, Kia change it. Guys, there is no gears, right? So there is no gears anymore or a gear handle. Everything is going to be right here uh, on, this, uh, on this part. So the post start is going to be right there, all right? And then here, if you want to put it for drive, you just pull this up, pull that part down. If you press for parking, you just push this button on the side right here. And it's just, it's a different way to use it. Uh, I'm sure it can take you, I don't know, maybe a day or two to get used to it, but it's pretty neat. You just give it like more, like you just have more space in this area instead you just waste it on a, on a gear shift. All right, uh, so that's a nice look. Something that I want to point out as well, you do have a digital mirror right here. So you can either use it as a regular mirror or digital, whatever you guys want. You can zoom in, zoom out. You can control some of the brightness here, uh, which is nice too. Guys, something super nice. Uh, again, there is one thing that I am keep telling my customer. When it comes to technology, Kia is top notch. So I just put it right now on reverse here look at that so you have the 360 camera and you can play with it like you can see your vehicle and if you turn the wheel look what happened right so they turn it in with you super nice very very advanced technology that kia has uh now if i'm single uh, right look what happened you have a blind spot view monitor right here on the right if i'm singling left you're going to have it on the left side as well. Now, something uh, super exciting that Kia did that I absolutely love. Look at this extension. All right. So wait, let me put it on parking. Say that you just sit in the car waiting for your wife to finish with her shopping, right? <laughs> and you just wait and wait and wait. So you can just put the extension, put it up. It's going to obviously up and down. And you can recline your seat. Honestly, you can just like spend the night here. I'm not kidding. You can go to sleep. <laughs> it's nice. And you have it on both sides, right? Mm -hmm. So you have power seats on the passenger side and you have the extension as well. So you can both just, you know, lay down. Yeah. Uh, again, super, super nice. Finally, that's the first time that Kia did it. Guys, this is a power steering wheel. I think, I hope actually that they're going to do it for most of their vehicle, at least the high end vehicles. Uh, on the top trim levels, it's something that I think that it was about time, right, to have the steering wheel power. So that's uh, finally super exciting. They did it on that. Uh, now let's let's talk about the top uh, controllers right here. You have the sunroof that you can open from here. Thank God it's not raining. Um, and then this is the controller for the second sunroof. The second sunroof uh, doesn't open. All right, so it doesn't like the glass doesn't open, so you can just like open the, the the cover and just leave it like that. These are the lights and these are touch. Okay, so you just touch them, they turn off and on. And this is for roadside assistance. Kia is providing one of the best warranty that you can find in the market. One of the the warranty stuff. It's a five year, sixty thousand miles for roadside assistance. Say that you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, no range, right? On this electric car, uh, yeah, because you can, you know, <laughs> there's no gas in it. But <laughs> say that, you know, your battery is dead, you need to do something. You can just press right here. It's going to call outside the system. They're going to come get you. So uh, that's one of the best warranties that you can find in the market. Um, other than that, guys, I think that we kind of like went over uh, most of the feature, if not all of them. I was trying to be as detailed as I can on all the features in that car. I think that that so the price point on this car, the MSRP is seventy six thousand dollar, right? So it's the highest, you know, it's the highest price point that you can find on the Kia vehicle. But if you if you comparing it to a third row EV, 
out there in the market who's going to compete the Tesla X, is going to compete uh, uh, the Mercedes, the Rivian, that's going to be your lowest option, the most affordable option that you can find and you're not missing any feature. So like for $76,000 fully EV, uh, a super luxurious that has every single feature that you can even think about on that car, that price is very reasonable, very affordable for uh, uh, all of those people that are looking for a third row SUV that you can take on trips, on a road trip with your kids, with your family. All right, guys, if you have any questions on the all new beautiful EV9, let us know. All of our contact info is listed right here. We appreciate you watching and we'll see y'all soon. Bye.